Hello to everybody out there on YouTube. I've decided to make a series of videos here. I know a lot of people make videos on reloading and uh, a lot of people want to get into that. I'm going to make this series of videos on actual powder handling equipment. What you need all the way from your basic powder handling equipment up to the uh, fancy electronic scales and uh, measures that they have today. And if you see here on the table, this is your basic what I consider your basic needs for powder handling. What you really need to uh, to charge a shell. Uh, this is a fun powder funnel. Uh, if you got an if you got a steady hand, you don't really need this. But on some of the smaller cartridges, it's really hard to get powder inside of them without the funnel. You got your powder here, and. Uh, what you, the only thing else you really need other than your reloading recipe is a way to measure and that can be something as simple as a uh, spoon and a steady hand and a scale which you have here or you can also use these nice powder dippers that Lee puts out now a lot of people are a little bit skeptical about the dippers but uh, as long as you're consistent with how you use them they do throw a, a fairly decent charge. What I usually do if I'm using a dipper, and I don't do that too often, but uh, I do do it some, with some field loading uh, with the old Lee loaders that I have. I actually measure the charge with the scale first to make sure I'm pretty close. Uh, you don't have to be exactly right to the point on. If you're loading that close to the edge of maximum that you have to be down to the tenth of a grain you probably don't want to be using these dippers but uh... then all you need to do is uh... measure your powder out with either the dipper or just a steady hand into the scale set your scale to uh, your charge uh... just slowly trickle your powder into the pan until you reach your charge and uh... that's it for basic powder handling there is very few things you need a good scale I consider essential just so you can check your charge even though these dippers do work uh, that's about it for the basic stuff uh, now let's move on to the next step up right, folks the next step up in powder handling here uh, usually the next upgrade a person buys is a powder measure this one's RCBS powder measure uh, pretty simple you usually can't get a stand for it I don't happen to have the stand here, so I'm just holding it. But uh, it sits like this, screws into the stand, and it dispenses a powder charge every time you flip this lever. Little micrometer here that allows you to adjust the charge. Um, put your powder in here, and uh, you'll use your scale to adjust your powder charge. You'll drop a charge from the powder measure into the pan, put it on the scale see if it zeroes out to where you want to charge if it's a little light you twist the micrometer out if it's a little heavy you twist the micrometer in until you get a consistent charge of the weight that you want for your loading pretty simple on that but uh, usually the this is the next upgrade after the basics is a nice powder measure now Lee also makes a powder measure the Lee perfect powder measure I've used it it's okay uh, just personal preference, I like the RCBS powder measure a little bit more. But I, uh, I do like Lee's products, but just personal preference on the powder measure is uh, my, my preference is the RCBS. But uh, another upgrade, which uh, you might consider as you go along in your reloading, is an electronic scale. It's an easy, it's a, it's a convenience. You don't have to sit and wait for the, for the beam to zero out. You don't have to worry as much about uh, stray breezes and stuff around the work area. Uh, the electronic scale is very easy. You turn it on. Uh, these little weights here are for your zeroing. Uh, instructions come with the scale, tell you how to zero it out. Basically, the, the same as you'd adjust your analog scale here, the digital scale does it electronically. Uh, this one runs on either a 9 volt battery or a little. Uh, wall wart plug in and it's a lot more convenient than the balance beam scale in my estimation you drop your powder charge into the pan put it on the scale it tells you what it weighs 
adjust up or down with your measure for the weight you want and that's it uh, no adjusting the little check ball or having to adjust the slider and lock it in place it's just a much more convenient little scale and they're both very accurate uh, I've used the balance beam I've used the electronic scales I like them both but the electronic scale is a lot easier especially if you uh, want to take a scale out to your local range and load on the bench a little bit uh, you might drop your balance beam scale and although the Lees is pretty durable some of the others aren't so durable and you don't want to bend the beam on your scale accidentally knock it over uh, the electronic scale has got a lot less to a lot less to get in the way a uh, little bit less to worry about you still don't want to knock it down but uh, if you bump it or if you happen to happen to bump it on the table uh, it's a little lower slung it's probably not going to fall off so it's a little bit more convenient well the next upgrade in uh, in powder handling equipment uh, is a little bit pricey but I load for over 40 different calibers and it's proved its weight in gold to me. I'll show you the next step up. It's an electronic uh, scale and measure in one. Okay, this is it. Uh, this is my RCBS uh, Charge Master powder handling system. Uh, the RCBS also makes the Charge Master scale you can get separately. Uh, they make the powder dispensing system. Uh, each of these items can be bought separately. But I bought them as a unit and it is uh, the ultimate upgrade as far as I'm concerned in uh, powder handling equipment. Uh, ease of use is phenomenal. Turn it on. Uh, it's got a nice backlit display here which I really like. And uh, it zero, zero itself out. Uh, it's got a nice uh, breeze shield or dust shield here which I usually take off when I'm, uh, when I'm charging just because I have a little bit of a cramped space here. Uh, all you need to do is know, uh, make sure your, your scale is zeroed as usual for an electronic scale. Pick your, choose your powder, what type of powder you want to put into it. Pour the powder into the scale. Or the dispenser, excuse me, the dispenser. Then all you do is there's a keypad up here. Uh, you uh, reach up. You type in your charge. Uh, say you want uh, 20 grains of powder. You type in 2 O. You type in dispense. You hear the little motor running in the background. Uh, this little tube here spins. Powder comes out. Charges into the pan. That beep tells you you got it. There's 20 grains of powder. There's your, there's your first load. So you take this off, uh, put it in your shell. I'm just going to dump it back in the dispenser. You keep on loading. You got your next shell in the press. You're working on it. Throw the pan on the scale. As soon as it zeroes out, it dispenses the next charge. And you just run right along. You can double check on the scale after each beep. It will uh, show the count of your charge as to how many charges it's dispensed. That's another good way to keep track of uh, how, if if you if you're doing 20 shells and you've um, dropped 21 charges and you haven't, to your knowledge, uh, had a bad charge, then uh, you double charge a shell somewhere. So you better go back and check and. See, this, this is just a little bit over here, which uh, it's only a 0.1 of a grain. But it's, it's actually, the larger the charge I found, the more accurate it is. Although I do use this for light pistol charges too. It's just a very, very convenient thing. Throw it on, zeroes out, it dispenses the next charge. You don't have to touch it. You can be out getting your... Uh, getting your next shells ready or you can be sitting there waiting for it to dispense uh, I usually I, I usually load the shell and uh, and then I wait for the charge I'm usually not waiting very long uh, dispense out right to 20 grains and you it 
you can double check it, look on the scale, it'll tell you if it's over, under, or what. But uh, this to me is the ultimate ease of use. And when you're ready, just hit stop. And it won't dispense any more charges. Really easy cleanup, which is one of the reasons I got the RCBS model. Lyman also makes one. Uh, I think there is another company that makes uh, one of these automatic powder dispensers. But uh, I did quite a bit of research and uh, settled on the RCBS. Uh, first of all, it dispenses any of the powders that I use very easily. There's memories in here. You can set your favorite charges up and uh, keep them right in the memory of the machine. So all you got to do is uh, run through to your memory and hit go and you're ready to go easy to clean up the powder run, uh, turn this little thing on the side powder will run right back into your jar little brush they give you here swirl it around in there a little bit make sure you got the powder out of the tube and it's clean it's another convenience thing but uh, when you're running over 40 different calibers it helps to have something you don't have to go and look up the charges all the time uh, they're already on the machine and even if even if not I'll pick up my load book I'll look at the charge look at the powder put the powder in the machine type the charge in and I'm ready to go no problem but uh, this is the last step as far as I'm concerned in powder handling equipment now you get into the automated measures and stuff that go on the progressive presses that's a different type of press this is for your standard single stage presses and uh, what you what you guys are going to be using for your beginning reloading. Uh, if you get a progressive press, they got the powder measures on them, and it's all a, a cycle thing. So this is the end of the powder handling video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to drop a comment there. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Everybody on YouTube, have a good day.